Blizzard just announced a brand new IP. Could this be one of the first Xbox exclusives they release? Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you have been well. Like I promised, brand new content on this channel coming more frequently. So if you do enjoy it, please consider hitting that like button. It certainly helps get the channel out there to more people. We're trying to grow it to more than 100 subscribers relatively soon. Let's get to the main topic of this video though, and that is Blizzard making a brand new announcement that they're working on a new survival game, a new genre for them. Let's head on over to the article now. Posted January 25th on the Blizzard's website, uh, the heading reads, create a new universe with us. Blizzard is embarking on our next quest. We're going on a journey to a whole new universe, home to a brand new survival game for PC and console. A place full of heroes we have yet to meet, stories yet to be told, and adventures yet to be lived. A vast realm of possibility waiting to be explored. Every story needs a teller and every world needs builders. What if that could be you? For 30 years, Blizzard has been creating universes for millions of players around the globe this requires a diverse team of developers willing to lend their voices to listen and to be heard that is our mission do you like survival games do you want to join a collaborative team of experienced developers at the early stage of a new project in a new world and help write the next chapter is in blizzard stories this is your call to adventure will you answer it we can see here a bunch of different job uh, listings available at the studio for this unannounced survival game we have some cool concept art here of a character dressed uh, in, in survival aware seeing something they might have created from the world around them which is could be really exciting uh, so different roles in art design and engineering so this is an interesting new announcement from blizzard a brand new survival game in a completely different universe something disconnected from their previous work i'm really excited by the potential for this one first and foremost like i said new genre for blizzard for you know they've only really focused on warcraft starcraft in the rts space we have overwatch in the first person shooter space obviously diablo as a as a top down isometric RPG dungeon crawler um, but this is really exciting you know the last time we saw Blizzard move into a new genre was with Overwatch and they really uh, brought something new to the space um, and that was that was really exciting so um, I'm keen to see what um, this could mean for uh, the, the survival genre obviously we've seen many different games in the past uh, take a stab at what survival genre means it is one of I suppose the 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 newest genres in video games right there have been some major players in the space like Rust, Ark Survival Evolved, Minecraft obviously being the biggest one there um, but all of them you know seemingly putting their own different spin on it we've seen survival elements make their way into a variety of different games as well even some RPG games that lean on the mechanic of scavenging to create borrow some elements some, from survival games so I'm really excited to see what this team at Blizzard can do to uh put their own unique spin on the survival genre. They did a really good job with the very first Overwatch and I'm keen to see what they can bring to fruition here. Secondly, the fact that it's an, uh, a new world for Blizzard is, is really interesting. You'd think that maybe they'd want to try and create this universe where all these different worlds are connected. Um, I suppose that's what Heroes of the Storm was designed to be, right? This game that brings all these different characters together um, in, a, in a really cool way in the MOBA space and that um, seems to have sort of you know died down for them now. I think one of the most interesting things about this news piece is obviously comes mere, merely a week away from the acquisition news that Microsoft is going to acquire Activision Blizzard. Now I don't think that has any this announcement has anything to do with that timing. Clearly this is a project that was underway and now they're just staffing up. It's not like they need to you know delay this announcement to avoid any um, I suppose controversy around the, the acquisition or anything like that. Um, but it is interesting that in the announcement post that they do specify that this game is for PC and console. They don't specifically say PlayStation and Xbox. Um, my gut feeling on this is that the second that Activision Blizzard is brought under the Microsoft umbrella that this is made an Xbox exclusive. Um, you know the platforms have not been announced so it's not like this is being taken away from any existing platforms like PlayStation um, which is you know that's something we're yet to see with Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2 those games have been announced for PlayStation consoles what is going to be the state of them do they continue to remain on PlayStation consoles even if they might be arriving in 2023 or 2024 for that matter um, we're just gonna have to wait and see so it is my feeling that this game this new unannounced survival game will be available only on Xbox and PC or platform 
platforms where Game Pass exists, let's say that, um, so via the cloud as well. I must say, I really like the look and feel of this new game. Just looking at the concept art, it looks a bit more fantastical, a bit more whimsical than some other survival games that we've seen out there. It kind of reminds me of Drake's Hollow, uh, the survival game that was uh, made by the same studio that did The Flame and the Flood. Um, this was announced way back at one of the Xbox uh, events ages ago, and I think it released in game preview from memory. Um, it didn't, I, I'm not sure if it took off or not. I haven't heard about it since, but it just had a more whimsical, um, cartoonish sort of flair, very colorful as well. Um, we know that, you know, Overwatch is certainly that, right? It isn't this gritty shooter. It is um, fantastical in all of its elements and its presentation. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing what Blizzard's flair can bring to the survival genre in that sense. The only other thing I'll say on this topic is I'm really looking forward to seeing what Blizzard can bring, especially in light of games like Valheim, who have come in more recently and shown us the potential of what survival games can be, put their own unique spin on it, and I think do away with a lot of the um, cruxes and I wouldn't say issues, but mechanics that a lot of people don't like about the survival genre. I think this genre uh, is still in its nascent stages of developing its own identity, right? And I think in the same way that we have a variety of different shooters nowadays that all, you know, set out to achieve their own things in the sense that Doom is different to Halo, is different to Call of Duty, is different to Fortnite, is different to Gears of War. I'm looking forward to um, what new things can be born out of the survival genre. Um, so I'm really keen to see how Blizzard takes on all the learnings from that the industry has has had over the past decade or so of making these survival games and creating something new and exciting and maybe something that appeals to people who aren't typically fans of the survival genre because I think for the moment it is not an impenetrable genre but it definitely has its own identity that a lot of people can't connect with or a lot of people aren't drawn to just by the very nature of what's required uh, to succeed in those games so I'm looking forward to seeing what Blizzard can add to this genre. Anyway what do you think about this new announcement from Blizzard merely a week after the acquisition news as well. Are you looking forward to this new survival game? What would you like to see Blizzard create in this brand new genre of theirs? And do you think it'll be an Xbox exclusive? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. As always, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. It certainly helps the video out. We're trying to grow this channel and do more on it. And subscribe as well if you'd like to see more in the future, um, of which there will certainly be more videos to come. Thank you again, and I hope to see you next time.